Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Okay, Jesus, God, you're so good. God, you're so good. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, you're good. You're good. You're mighty, God. Thank you for joining, everybody. Thank you for joining. As you come on, share the broadcast. Share, share, share the grace. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here, Sanctuary of Love International Ministries. Hey, thank you for the hearts. God bless you. Thank you for joining. God is so good as you come on, share it with your followers. Share this broadcast with your followers. Share, share, share the broadcast. Yes, yes, yes. I'm here today to pray for you. I'm here to minister what thus saith the Lord. Oh, God, I thank you. I praise you. There's none like you. The Holy Ghost is flowing, y'all. So receive your blessings. Receive your blessings. Amen. Hey, thank you for joining. God bless you. If this is your first time catching the broadcast, let me know. Let me know where you're watching me from. Oh, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. How's your Tuesday going, everybody? How is your Tuesday going? Ooh, Canada? Ah, oh, Canada. Yeah, well, I bring you greetings from the United States. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here. God bless you. Jacksonville, Florida. Y'all just popping up and telling me. Michigan in the house. Ah, oh, but the weather is nice and warm there in Florida, huh? I bet it is. Yes. So God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for joining as you come on. Share the broadcast with your followers. And thank you for the hearts. God is so good. I thank him. I praise him. There's none like him. I'm here for you today. I'm here to pray for you. I'm to, here to talk about the word of God. And, and I'm just here. I'm just here doing the work of the Lord today. Amen. If you have a prayer request, you can type that into the broadcast and I'll follow up on your prayer request. Amen. Amen. God is so good. You know, God's been talking to me about the quiet times. That we all need to have quiet times in our lives because he wants to bring us closer to him, okay? But what we think when we have quiet times, God is nothing happening. God, where's your blessings? God, why is this happening to me, God? God, why don't I have this, that, or the other? God, why aren't you answering my prayers, God? Where are you? I don't hear you. I don't see you, God. God's saying he's right there even in the quiet times. That he's just trying to draw you closer to him. He has a plan and a purpose for your lives. He wants you to study more. He wants you to pray more. He's getting you to yourself back to yourself so that you can draw closer to him. Amen. We have to think about it that prayer and the Bible is a is a um it's a privilege for our lives it's it's there to strengthen us it's it's there you know god wants us to know that he's with us he'll never leave you or forsake you even during the quiet times when you think that there's nothing happening in your life no that's the wrong thinking that's the, th the thinking of the enemy when you go through quiet times, know that blessings are just right on the horizon. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. Thank you for joining. If this is your first time catching one of my broadcasts, Prophetess Debbie Wilson, let me know. 
Let me know where you're watching me from. And God bless you, each and every one of you. I'm bringing you greetings from Sanctuary of Love International Ministries here in the United States. Friend me, uh, follow me here, but friend me on Facebook and like my page, Sanctuary of Love International Ministries. I'm on YouTube and Instagram, D Wilson 709. God bless you. So share, share, share. Somebody might need prayer today. One of your followers might need prayer and, and they're not on this broadcast, but if you share the broadcast with them, they can receive prayer. So I want you to know when you're going through the quiet, Quiet times as God wants to strengthen you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. God wants to strengthen you when you're going to those quiet times. He's drawing you to yourself. I mean, even God had to go away. Just think about it. Jesus went away to pray. He had to leave his disciples, send them on and crossed in the boat so that he could have time to himself to pray. It's okay. Don't think it's a negative when you're not seeing things happening or you think God is not answering your prayers. Not true. He's waiting for a due time, a due season to bless you. Amen. When you can handle it, but you have to know that God is always with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. You have to believe that with your whole heart and not doubt. Amen. Amen. I thank you guys for catching my broadcast. I'm so glad that you're here. This is such a blessing. If you catch this broadcast on replay, just know that you're blessed and that God loves you. Amen. I can be reached at dwilson709 at icloud.com. If you want to contact me to be a ministry prayer partner, you want to sow a seed or you want a one-on-one, -on -one, just let me know. Just contact me via my email address, or you can reach me on Facebook Messenger. You can type in your prayer requests and I follow up on those. Or if you need to contact me, send me a message and I'll give you a call. Amen. But God is good. That's where we get our strength from during those quiet times. Don't feel that you're weak. You can talk to God about anything. God knows your heart anyway, so you might as well express everything you want to express to him. Find a place in your home, a, a room or closet or just something like an altar, a place that you can go for peace to pray. You know, we have different things going on in our bodies, in our mind, in our families, in our relationships. So we need some time set aside to pray to God or a place to go to pray to God. Amen. That's showing you're strong, but never think that God has left you. He won't do that. Amen. You know, it says in God's word to pray without ceasing. So God sees prayer as a good thing. It's a good thing to pray. And you know, this, this is a privilege. We take so much for granted. Prayer is a privilege. When you have life in your body, you have the knowledge, you know who to go to, to pray, to get your blessings, to come forth or to, you got a friend, an eternal friend that will always be with you. It's a privilege. See, prayer is a privilege. See the Bible and the word of God as a privilege. Amen. Because you don't have to have that, but God left you a road map to show you how to deal with certain things on this life, to show you you're not the only one going through something, to show you, yeah, your flesh may suffer, but your your spirit man is, el is alive eternally. You have to trust God. You know, on this Christian walk, we're going to go through struggles. There's potholes in the road. There's bumps. There's, there's, there's big old hills. There's, uh, uh, what they call it? Road mine or mines, things that blow up along your path. There's things that the enemy's trying to trip you up on. Thank you for joining in this Christian walk. This is not an easy walk. This Christian walk. I don't know if somebody told you that salvation is easy. Uh, accepting Jesus Christ as your personal savior so that you'll have eternal life. But that's just the entryway. The Christian walk is full of pitfalls and stumbling blocks and things that want you to give up. But it's okay. God knows it. That's why he stays in relationship with you. He wants to be your friend. He want, he, he, he's there for you even if you don't see him or you don't feel him. You don't think you hear him. Your prayers are not being answered. 
you need quiet time with God. God, when you're at your weakest, that's when you can push into God and, 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 and build your relationship with God, knowing that you're not alone. I don't care what you see. These natural eyes are just seeing things in the natural realm. There's a supernatural realm that's all around us. We're just on this earthly plane. We're just seeing what we've been socialized to see and believe, you know, but there's a whole supernatural realm that, that God wants you to get to. He wants you to mature for the things of the supernatural so that you're, uh, you won't be weakened by your flesh, you know, and it's okay. You have the grace of God. You make mistakes. You go to God. God won't leave you. You can't say you messed up, so you don't need to punish yourself. God loves you no matter what you do. You pray, you pray, you repent, repent. You're under the grace of God. Quiet times are good, y'all. But don't believe the trick of the enemy that God is not with you. He's always with you. Amen. He's always just a call away. So make sure you got a, play, a place to go and pray. Prayer is a privilege, y'all. Quiet time. Spend quiet time with God. Reading his word. Meditating. Amen. God bless you. How are you today? Thank you to each and every one of you for joining. You are such a blessing to me. You're such a blessing. Amen. I just get so excited about the things of God because I look at the tricks of the devil. You know, the devil has been studying you all your life. You and I, all of our life, looking for our weaknesses, looking at how he can get us to stumble, looking at how he can get us to trust God and to give up and to go back into the world and to, um, you know, think that others are blessed and that we can't be blessed. You know, that this is only happening for other people. No, if he blesses someone else, he can bless you too. You know, so we got to learn to be grateful, have a gra uh, uh, attitude of gratitude and, and, and praise God in advance. If you don't see your blessings today in the quiet time, praise them. Thank you, God. I know it's coming. I know I haven't seen those blessings yet, but I know they're coming. And through you, that all things are possible. You never leave me or forsake me. I know you're my friend. You stick to me closer than a brother. You know, so you got to believe in the quiet times are okay. As you join everybody if you have a prayer request type it into the broadcast i'm here for you today i'm here for you i'm just expounding on the the message that the holy ghost has given me today but i'm really here to pray for you to commune with you so you can type your prayer request into the broadcast right now and as you join let me know if this is your first time catching one of my broadcasts prophetess debbie wilson and make sure to follow me here on Periscope. Amen. I'm a teaching prophetess. So I come on with the word of God and and just so I'm here for you, but amen. Hi, first time. God bless you. Hey, friend me, follow me, follow me here. Prophetess Debbie Wilson. Oh, stay connected, first timer. Where are you watching me from, first timer? Deliverance from fear, anxiety. Okay. Okay. God bless you. We ask now God for deliverance against anxiety and fear fear, psychological issues, emotional issues, God. We ask for deliverance from those. We know that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of a sound mind that no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. Anxiety, depression, uh, whatever it is, schizophrenia, whatever it is, whatever emotional disease or sickness does not come from you. That's something coming from the demonic realm. It's an assignment of the enemy that you have not given us. You want us to know when we go through the fire, when we go through the waters, we won't be burned. We won't drown because you are with us and you will never leave us or forsake us, God. We know, God, that you are a healer, you are a restorer, you are a way maker in Jesus' name. It is through you that all things are possible. I ask for healing for the spirit of depression, anxiety, anything that's not like you that's coming from the demonic realm, from the kingdom of darkness, be removed be removed in the name of Jesus. You have no place in their body. You have no place in their mind. Oh, the Holy Ghost fire will burn you out of that 
body. It is so. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Stay strong. Yeah. Those things are not of God. Those come from the demonic realm. As you come on, share the broadcast. Oh, from California. Ah, receive your healing and talk to your talk to your mind. You know, we've been so socialized to say, doesn't matter what we're thinking as long as we don't say anything. No, nah, you got to clean that mind out periodically. We we let so much uh, garbage, uh, infiltrate our mind or oh, our minds are overactive. You know, your mind could just be overactive, uh, imagining things, worrying about things and, and, and half those things you worry about don't never come to fruitation. They never even come to fruitation. So remember that God doesn't want you to worry. He wants you to pray pray when you, before you, you feel yourself getting anxious or you're starting to worry or, starting to get depressed by things, pray, pray to God. I know it doesn't always seem like it works, but it's better to pray than to worry because worry is not of God either. Amen. Make sure to connect with me and follow me. Prophetess Debbie Wilson here on Periscope. Y'all, you can friend me on Facebook, uh, Debbie Wilson as well. I'm on Periscope on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Amen. Okay, open my business. Okay. God, we ask that your will, amen. We ask that your will would be done regarding um driving, God, and and um that that your will would be done. That your will would be done, God. God, you know what's needed. God, we're asking for um uh restoration, rehabilitation, um uh, uh, uh revival, uh God. Just restore this person to their uh, previous level of functioning, God, so that they can drive and get around. You know, driving comes with independence. It's independence, God. Let them be more independent. Let them drive again, God, so they can get their life back and do what they need to do, God, and, and enlarge their territory in the area of business, God. Let businesses grow. Let 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 their... um. You know, their desire to have a business, uh, give them their heart's desire, God, and give it to them in due time and due season when they're ready and when they can handle it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to God as you join the broadcast. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Forgot to say that. Um, share the broadcast with your followers. And uh, yeah, make sure to friend me here, Prophetess Debbie Wilson. If this is your first time catching one of my broadcast let me know let you let me know where you're watching me from i'm here in michigan okay so yeah so my ministry is sanctuary of love international ministries god bless you all god bless you all stay connected stay connected you can also friend me on facebook as well Oh, Pennsylvania. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. God bless you. God bless you. God is so good. God is so good. I thank you. Thank you all for joining. You're, um, you're such a blessing to me. And everybody, if you catch this on replay, just know that you're blessed. Everybody that's a part of the broadcast. Yes, just know that you're blessed. Amen. So I'm taking prayer requests right now. Just type your prayer requests into the broadcast. I've been talking about the quiet times. God's going to give you those quiet times, but don't give up. Don't get shaky in the things of the uh, spiritual. You know, like the devil knows when your spirit is shaky. Um, you know, it's like a snake. A snake likes that shakiness, you know. So you've got to learn to be more sound in the spiritual realm. Your body's going to go through all kinds of things in this life. Um, you know, your spirit lives on forever, but your body will feel pain. You get sickness, disease, and, and your emotions. You don't feel like you want to do something. You know, all these things that come against us on a daily basis. But you have to know, even when you don't see things are happening, that those blessings aren't coming exactly when you want them to come. Know that God is still there with you. He has not abandoned you. He's not saying that he's not going to give those things to you. But in due time and due season, you'll reap. God wants you to draw in closer to him. 
in your prayer life, in your reading the word, you know, try to find a place in your home or um, some place to go for prayer or, you know, get up early before everybody else does just to have that time with him. Amen. Sick of self been driving me crazy and makes me depressed. Oh, okay. Yes, God, we come against any physical ailment ailment in their body right now for anybody on this broadcast sickle cell diabetes high cholesterol high blood pressure whatever it may be stroke anything that has happened that is in the physical realm god we ask that you would heal us in healing wholeness to them right now in the name of Jesus God in your due time in your due season God give give them the strength to deal with it until that healing comes God oh some healings are right away some healings are a process God help us to know help them to know help all of us to know that you are always with us no matter what we're going through God that we believe you we don't doubt we know you're the healer and that you love us Oh, God, healing, healing in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yeah, you know, that's just the devil, you know, trying to get you to give up. You know, sickness makes you depressed, you know, but those things aren't a God. So I cancel those things out in the name of Jesus. But read God's word. Amen. Oh, you are so blessed. You know, a lot of times it's not what we go through, but how we go through it. This is one thing I'm learning. Like the devil, when you go through, just think about all these cancer patients. And I'm just saying different things people have that they're going through and their spirit is just as high. You know, they're still happy. They're like, I'm living life day by day. So a lot of times the devil wants you to be depressed. Yeah, that's a fact. He wants you to be depressed so you can even get sicker. So you have to like talk to your body and I'm healed, hold, you know, you got to keep yourself pumped up. Thanking you, God, in advance for my healing. I don't see it right now, but I know it's just on the horizon. Oh, thank you, God. You're a good God. You're a mighty God. You know, you got to speak to that body. Speak, speak, and, and keep yourself lifted up. See, darkness likes the kingdom of darkness likes depression, likes anxiety, likes sickness, like disease. But we are people of light. We're about the Holy Ghost. We connect to the Holy Ghost fire that can burn anything and penetrate anything out of your body that is not of God. Amen. So you got to relate. That's why I say push into God when you feel depressed. Push into God and your relationship with God when you don't see your blessings. Because you really I'm wanting you to attach to the supernatural realm, to the Holy Ghost, to the things of the Holy Ghost. That's where your life source is because we're all going through something but it's the way that you go through it god looks at that more than anything you know he wants you to pick up your cross and walk you know look at all the things that jesus went through and all the things he talks about that's why we got to read the bible there is nothing new under the sun everything you're going through somebody has gone through before so we have to always connect to the word of god as well as the praying because see that's our strength that's where we're going to get our strength from that word of god and our prayer life because we're going to know regardless of what we see we know god is with us regardless if there's nothing happening Happening. We know that he's for us and we're going to get it. We're going to get those blessings. If we stay connected and we, we improve our friendship with God, he's going to know that he can trust us. You know, and he's going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, I can I can bless my son or daughter because I know I can trust them. They're going to do the right thing and they're going to um, uh, they're going to. Um, you know, improve the, expand the kingdom of God and, and, and they're going to, you know, help ministries and they're going to do good things. If I bless them, you know, whatever, what it, it may be, but yeah, yeah. Just stay strong. Don't give up. Don't give up. Cause it's every, it's so many people going through so many things in this world, you know, 
You know, I find myself sometimes I'm like, oh, God, please don't let nothing else happen. God, please don't. But, you know, that's not life. He says man's life is short and full of trouble. So, but we know this, we're going to go through things in this life, but we can handle it with God. He was there in the beginning of our lives. He'll be there at the end. With God, we can make it. We can take it. We can be strong, you know. Yes, yes. So in Matthew 6 and 6, it says, but when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. So it's okay to to uh, take some quiet time to yourself and go in your room or wherever and pray and commune with God. It says, and uh, then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Okay. So there's a reward in getting closer to God and increasing your prayer life and reading the word of God. And God knows you really love him because he said, Oh, this person's, you know how we all like time. This person's taking time out for me. They're believing me with their whole heart. They're, they're trusting in my timing. They're trusting me. Yeah. So, the quiet times are good y'all it says in james 4 and 8 come near to god and he will come near to you that's what it's saying wash your hands you sinners and purify your hearts uh, you're double-minded so he doesn't want us to be double-minded you know, the devil will use that against you. If you're double-minded, you're not really for God. You're, you're kind of still in the world. You believe God a little bit. Well, the devil looks at that. You're not believing God with your whole heart. So he, he's like, okay, that's a weakness. Okay. Let me get to them in that kind of way. If their mind doesn't totally be, believe in God, let me get to their mind. Let me, let me get to their weakness. You know, so, so it's a benefit to believe God with your whole heart. And it's a process. You can tell God, God, I mean, I believe in you, God, but you know, it's certain things, God, you know, I ain't even seen yet. And God is certain things I'm angry about. You can be honest with God. He, he, he will be there for you. You know, you can be closer to him than a brother, sister, mother. God loves you. You know, he's not a man that he should lie. So you can trust him. You can keep the faith in him. You can believe in him. Okay. Man will let you down just cause we're human. It's not like we try try to do it. It's just, we're human and we feel some kind of way, some kind of days and some kind of days, some days we don't. And, but God will never let you down. He loves you. He's your creator. So spend some quiet time with God. Amen. And, uh, type in your requests while I'm live. If you have a prayer request, yes. Amen. 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 So in um, Matthew 14 and 22, thank you so much for the hearts. I'm loving it. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. And it says, and this is uh, Matthew 14 and 23. After he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. That's what Jesus did. Later that night, he was there alone. Even Jesus knew that you need time to yourself. That it's okay to spend some quiet time with him. Quiet time is good. That God loves that, you know. So mark out some time in your day to spend some quiet time with God. It's important. Amen. You know, just yes, yes. So, and uh, those who are joining, share the broadcast with your followers. Share it for me. And if as you join, if you have a prayer request, you can type that into the broadcast. But um, let me know where you're watching me from. If this is your first time catching one of my broadcasts, Amen. I'm telling you, God is so good. God is so good. I can do some things. You know, we do things and that are flesh in our flesh or, um, you know, things like that, but God forgives you. He forgives us. We have grace. Amen. He wants us to grow up, you know, and when you spend time with God, you know, if you notice any living thing, you know, it needs light. 
the light of the Holy Ghost fire when you're in prayer with God, it purifies you, but it helps you to grow. It restores you. You know, it's like our cells, our body, we're soaking it up, you know, that light from the Holy Ghost. So it's, it's for your growth to spend time with God or spend time with the word of God. It gives you life so that you can, God wants you to multiply and expand. He doesn't want you to be the same year after year after year after year. Year. Amen. Yeah, God isn't, but not about stagnation. You know, like when water and everything is just still, it gets dirty. He wants you to keep moving, keep growing. Oh, thank you for joining. Share the broadcast with your followers as you join. Pump those hearts and make sure to follow me here, Prophetess Debbie Wilson. Glory to God. I'm on Periscope on Tuesdays and Thursdays, everybody. Oh, I love, love them hearts, y'all. And in Psalms 46 and 10, it says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. It's okay to be still. You know, I will be exalted in the earth. It says in 46 and 10, we think we got to be always moving, always doing something, something always happening. Blessings just pouring down on us every day. Life is not like that. You got some times in life. You're really active. You're really busy. And then you got some quiet times in life. That's okay. Use those quiet times to get closer to God and his word. Amen. I just, like I said, God's word and prayer is a privilege. We take it so much for granted, but you know, it's our time to connect. Amen. Don't let anybody disturb your quiet time. Turn off that phone for a minute or whatever. Stay off that social media for a little while or whatever you're doing, you know, whatever we do. Make some time for God. Amen. As you join, I'm taking prayer requests so you can type it into the broadcast and share, 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 guys. Okay, it says in Mark 1 and 35, it says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. I'm saying, take your time. Pray, pray, y'all. And then in Mark 1 and 36, it says, Simon and his companions went to look for him. It says, and in 37, and when they found him, they exclaimed, everyone is looking for you. But see, Jesus was off somewhere praying. He needed his time. He needed to pray to his father. You know, he needed guidance. So it's okay to take time for yourself, you know? And it seems like that's the time when you get interruptions is when you're planning to take time to yourself. So mark out some time. Amen. Amen. And in Psalms 91 and 1, it says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I don't know about you, but there's nothing like resting in the shadow of the almighty. Something you can give your cares to that you can say, God, you take this. I lay my burden down on you, Jesus. I can't handle it anymore. I don't know what the answers are, but I know you can handle it. These are all things you can be yourself with God. You can't always be yourself with man because they're picking or they're, they're criticizing or they're trying to figure out, you know, this or that, or, you know, trying to give you advice that may be slanted toward what they would do with their life. But God, you could, with God, you could lay it all out. This is a blessing. This is a privilege to pray. And have quiet time with God. You know, it says in Psalms 91 and 2, I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Amen. Amen. So we got to trust in God. We got to believe in God. Yeah, you know, and it says in Psalms 91 and 3, it says, Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly. God will save you. God sees all, knows all. He sees be front of you, be behind you, the side of you. We don't have eyes in the back of our head, but God can see it. He can see where you're headed. He can see the devil trying to catch you behind, you know. So trust God. That's your best friend. That's your 
best resource. Nothing's going to happen to you unless God wants it to. I don't care what the doctor report even says. You know, I don't care how your body is feeling. It's up to God. Everything is in God's hand. You are in God's hands. Amen. In Mark 11 and 22, it says, have faith in God. That's what it says. And in 23, truly, I tell you, if anyone says to the mountain, it says, go <clears throat> throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believes. You got to believe in your heart what they say. It will happen. It will be done to them. You know, you can, there's some mountains you're going to have in your life, but with God, he'll take you over the mountain, around the mountain, through the mountain. Just trust God and believe it with your whole heart. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. And I'll be concluding the broadcast after a little bit. So if you have a prayer request, get it in now. It says, therefore, I tell you, this is Mark 11 and 24. It says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. You've got to believe. you got to believe. That's what I had to work on in myself. I've got to believe that what I've prayed for, I can receive it, that this thing is re real. This is supernatural uh, abilities and things that are happening. But just because I can't see it with my natural eye doesn't mean that it's it hasn't already happened in the supernatural realm. A lot of times your beliefs will bring Bring your blessings down from heaven and what you believe and you cancel it out when you, when you, uh, your unbelief, let's say you've, you've received a per, uh, prophetic declaration or prayer and you keep asking different prophets and different people for the same thing. You're canceling out those prayers. Amen. So you've got to believe it. You've got to believe if God is giving you a message and you've, you've been prayed for or things aren't happening, believe it. Even if you don't see it, I'm not saying and stop praying for it, but just believe it. Amen. Don't cancel things out. And in, in Mark 11 and 25, it says, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your father, you know, so that your father in heaven may forgive you of yours. So don't have forgiveness. One thing you got to do, you got to be honest with God. If you got unforgiveness for somebody in your heart, and you're asking forgiveness for yourself or you're asking for things. Get rid of that first. Try to come to God with as pure a heart as you can. That's why I say you can talk to God about things you're having trouble with or issues you're having trouble with. Just be real with God. He can see in your heart anyway. Only God can see into a man's heart. So just be pure and upright with God. He, he, you're under his grace. He, he definitely forgives us each day. So in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 16, it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for your you in Christ Jesus. So we're supposed to have an attitude of gratitude. Give thanks no matter what you're going through, what you're seeing. It can always be worse. Trust me. I'm seeing so many things out in this world. You know, we complain about our little stuff, but there's a lot going on, y'all. So, so like I said, just keep an attitude of gratitude and no matter what you go through and value your quiet time with God. Set quiet time is okay. It's okay. It might be before a new season or new blessings are just on the horizon. Just believe God. Believe the word of God. Pray to God. And, you know, just be still knowing God is with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. Amen. Amen. Stay connected to me. Debbie Wilson, Prophetess Debbie Wilson. I can be reached at dwilson709 at iCloud.com. Follow me here on Periscope, D, uh, D Wilson 709 on Instagram. I have a YouTube channel and um, I'm also on Facebook, Debbie Wilson. Glory to God. You've all been such a blessing to me. Just know if you catch it on replay, you're blessed. And thank you everyone for joining. So bye for now. But remember, Jesus is Lord. Shalom. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.